and press it down. Oh. What's up, team T baby? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Hey. So today we are going to be making DIY protein bars. Do it your mother self because why go out to the store and pay five six dollars for like two bars actually you know it's worth it i respect the brands that are doing it because one day when i have my protein bars i'm going to be telling y'all to go out to the stores and get your tea baby protein bars but on another side no honestly do it yourself because if you buy a protein powder and if you buy the ingredients you can make a whole batch for way cheaper so as of now, yes, DIY. Today I'm gonna do, I think, chocolate flavored protein bars with, I think, almond butter instead of peanut butter. And you guys always know I say, I only cook and bake what benefits. So these bars are gonna have loaded, loaded amount of protein. And I cannot wait for you guys to try them, okay? So let's get started. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God. Team, one trip. Okay, y'all, so we need to make our almond flour, so really that's just ground up, why did I say almonds? Oat flour. We need to make our oat flour, so that's just ground up oats, my goats. So, I'm going to do, um, let's see, I'm going to measure everything in grams today. <laughs> so if you have a scale, everybody get out your scale. And let's see, I need, oh, oh, <gasps> too much. We need 80 grams of oat flour. So let me go on ahead and blend this real quick. You see, it's like magic. You put some oats in, you blend it, and Voila, you got some oat flour, mother trucker. Okay, so, okay, the when it sticks right there, let's not do that oat flour. Sometimes this really tries to make my life difficult, and I'm not having it. Okay, so, I'm trying to think if I want to hand mix this, if I want to food process this. Or if I want to, you know what? I have a hand mixer. Let's get down and dirty, y'all. Okay, I'm about to put it in a bowl. Sorry, it's a workout making videos and it's a workout um, being me. Okay, it's a workout. Every day is a workout. Um, let me just, okay, can you not? Measuring shit. I don't know where I usually measure shit, but you know, I'm trying to, I does this. I'm trying to do this a little bit extra today. Okay, perfect, you guys. So we got 80 grams of oat flour in the bowl three packets of stevia to start and then I'm going to taste as I go to see like okay is this not sweet enough is it sweet enough like some people don't like their protein bars super sweet some people do so I love stevia I'm addicted to stevia so let's just throw in three packets and let's see what that does then I'm going to use some unsweetened cocoa cacao powder and let's just get about let me see 
I think this looks good. You don't want to do too much because especially the unsweetened, it can be a little bit bitter, like your attitude. And so you want to make sure that you don't do too, too much. And girls just, you know. So usually when I bake, I, you know, I kind of throw stuff in as I go and taste and go and taste and go. So that's probably what like I'll do, but I'm just measuring like some of the main main ingredients so I can give you guys like, you know, some exact measurements. Okay, so we're gonna do about 11, 10, 11 grams of cacao powder up in the business. Now, time for the protein. I use this vegan plant-based protein from Sprouts that I show you guys all the time. Um, you can use whatever protein you like. I know that Vega is a good one. I know that, um, I don't know. There's a lot of good vegan proteins. So even, I know a lot of people that aren't even vegan that still use vegan protein just because they feel so much better and it tastes better. And I agree. I mean, I, of course I agree. But even when I wasn't on this train, I still liked vegan protein over whey. Whey is just like, oh, it makes you So, let me tell you how many scoops of protein we're going to do. I got a, I got, that one's almost empty, so I went and bought another, I swear I go to the gym. I went and bought another protein canister. Come on, motherfucker. Okay, so... Oh my god, it's like, I'm not a child. Why is this shit child proof? Jesus, Jesus. Oh, we've got a fresh baby right here. Okay, so now let's see. I think I'm going to add in about... Let's measure how many grams of one scoop is going to be 23 grams. Two scoops is going to be 50 grams. Oh, let's just throw in three because we are all on the gain train. Okay, 75 grams. Three going in. Now, when I say welcome to the gain train, I really meant to, you know what? Let's just throw in the rest of this one because. Because you can never have enough gains in your life. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of salt. Because it's really actually good to have the good kind of salt in you. And this is Himalayan pink sea salt. Which is really good also after your workout. Um, or before. But that's if you're going to have salt, you know, salt. There's some salt with benefits too. But have some good salt, okay? Don't do the dirty salt. Um, where did my... Oh. Okay, so now we need some almond milk. So I'm going to measure out, um, let's do about 250, 260, because I went over. So we're going to throw in 260 grams of almond milk. And now it's time for some mother almond butter. Can't you guys tell I'm doing really good? I'm practicing not cussing as much. And I'm just doing a great, great job at it, you know, day by day. It's not good to cuss. Doesn't sound ladylike. Like when you say motherfucker, like no, that just doesn't sound good, sweetie. Like what about fudge or I don't know, just really working on that part, you know, trying not to cuss. Okay, so I'm starting here with one fourth of almond butter and I have a feeling I'm going to add in another fourth, but little by little. You guys, it looks, since you can't see my bowl, like I'm just dropping shit everywhere probably. Shit, I just, oh my god. See, sometimes it's hard, but 
practice makes perfect, right? Okay, so now that all these shenanigans are in my bowl, first I'm going to mix it with the mixer. Mm. I love you. It's a good way to get yourself to drink water. Like I told you guys yesterday, eat peanut butter, almond butter, some kind of butter. Okay, so now all the goodies, all my goodies, my goodies are in my bowl. And I'm going to use my big girl electric mixer um, and do this myself instead of using the food processor and see how this comes together. And I always kind of like add and go. So let me just, hold on. All right, now this can be a good and a bad thing because sometimes this shit flies everywhere. Oh. Oof. I feel like Betty Crocker up in this piece. Okay, let's start slow. <laughs> so we know. <laughs> My battery went flying. Oh yeah, we're down here. Oh jeez. <sighs> Some days are easier than others. Okay, let's see what this tastes like. If I need to add anything. Wow. You go, girl. See what happens when you just do you and throw stuff in? All right. I think we're set. The only thing that sucks about this is you have to let it sit overnight so they can really harden up like protein bars. So I won't be able to show you guys the final results until manana, manana. That's okay. Probably have one of these bad boys before and after the gym. I usually like to have my pancakes and then I also like to have something sweet like this with it just because on leg day, you know, your girl is doing the extra gain work. Okay, so now it's time to place this in a parchment paper and stick it in the fridge. You do not cut it till the next day, okay? So. Let me get that aligned. So I'm going to cut this in half. Sharing is caring. We need two sides. So, God, when you're trying to cook and still look cute at the same time, Jesus, it's harder than you guys think. If you don't lick these after, you're not really a true baker, cooker, etc. Like, to those that waste this and just put it in the sink to wash it, I don't know who you are, but we can't be friends. Um, you must always clean this off with your mouth after and eat all of the leftovers. Now it's, oh my god. You know those days where you just are all over the place. Today I'm having one of those all over the place days. I think I decided to use the big girl mixer. Alright, in the bowl she goes. I mean, the pan. Oh, that's exactly what you want to come on there easily. Then we're going to press her down. Oh yeah, baby. Oh my god, these are going to be so good. I'm so excited. You guys, it just makes me so happy when, you know, when things just come out just the way they're supposed to. The beautiful thing about life. 
food. I understand why these are expensive in the store. First of all, because the ingredients, if you're using good ingredients, it's going to be um, expensive, especially when you're adding in vegan protein. And, you know, stevia is a good ingredient. Almond butter is so expensive. I swear there's some places right now where it's like 12 to $15 for almond butter. And I'm like, sign me out. Um, I'll wait until that goes down or I'll go find it somewhere else. Like, I bake way too much to be buying a jar for $12 every time. Like, no, I'm going to have to make my own then. But if you go to Trader Joe's, um, they have this almond butter. Really good. I think it's like less than 4 bucks or 5 bucks, which is good for almond butter because for some reason it's like gold. So it's not like peanut butter, which is like $1.99 at Trader Joe's. I buy peanut butter on the regular. Okay, so this is the perfect consistency. You go, girl, you go. That's what I was doing, smashing it down. And then you want to fold over and put this guy on top and press it down. Down. Oh, wow. Don't even mind me. You know, just. <clears throat> oh, wow. <laughs> I saved it, you guys. Good thing that I had the part. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. That was a fail. It's one of those days. Okay, little son, you didn't get too hurt. Let's just smash you back down. Good thing, wow, good thing. See, that's why you always use parchment paper. Saved the whole entire batch right now. Oh, I would have cried. Okay, so let's try that again, guys. I was trying to show you how good it was like formed. Like I was trying to show you guys like how good it came together, but you know, I guess that wasn't a very good idea. Okay, round two. Now, I'm going to go put these in the fridge. Very good, very good. Overnight, and I will see you all manana. Alright you guys, so it is the next day and these bad boys came out. And by the way, don't mind this. I just got back from training. But I'm just here to do the taste test and show you I've already taken bites because oh my god, these things are ridiculous. Oh my god. <laughs> It's so good, I don't even know what to say anymore. So, when I do taste tests, honestly, it's probably gonna be the same reaction if it's always this good. So if it's ever bad, then you guys will just know, but I just can't express like how good this is. Okay, all these cute little babies. All this money I'm gonna be saving, and it tastes so much better, I just need to get these patent, put my name on it, and give them to you guys because Gosh, they're so good. Please, give this recipe a try. Oh my god. So good. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you all in my next video.